This illustration uh, deals with indicating in accordance with NEC 404.7. Purpose of change of revision was accepted. This revision has been added to clarify that 404.7 currently requires switches and circuit breakers to clearly indicate where they are in the open or closed position. The word clearly is a subjective term that should be avoided. Furthermore, while it may be uh, or may imply it is not specific that this indication must be visible without opening the enclosure to see the open and close indication. This revision clarifies that the uh, indication must be visible when accessing the operating means. Notice that this revision will not reflect the switch operating handles uh, behind NEMA 4X and similar enclosures with bolted covers. In such cases, the indication only applies after the cover is open unless the enclosure is equipped with an external operating uh, type panel. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, we see the service entrance conductors to the left of this panel board. And we know 230.70, B as in boy, allows this single main here. And 230.42A1 uh, sizes the conductors based on continuous or non-continuous load. On the load side to the right, where you see the circuits going out in the conduit, these are branch circuits, and 210.19A1A is the calculating procedure for the conductors, which has the contains the 125% rule uh, for continuous duty, uh, and in course, uh, it's 100% for non-continuous duty or with demand factors, whichever applies, and then it lists 210.20A that sizes the overcurrent protection device ahead of these uh, conductors where they receive their supply. And notice that the uh, conductor has to come along at 125% to derate the breaker 80% for loading when you're dealing with uh, continuous uh, type load. Now, uh, if we... Uh, review, I think it is chapter 24, 70B, it would refer you over uh, to, to 404.7 and to change out that breaker, uh, any one of those breakers inside that panel board, you would go and look at 240.85 and it, depend, it depends upon how the system uh, is grounded. Uh, now, uh, let's just kind of review the uh, notes in blue. Note one at the very top is outlined in 404.3 general use and motor switches, circuit breakers, molded case circuit breakers shall indicate the open or closed position and shall be installed in a location that is visible when uh, accessing its eternal operating means is outlined in 404.7. And uh, notice that chapter 17 of 70B uh, list is your maintenance requirements, and 110.7 and 70E would list the procedures uh, for switching breakers and so forth and the type of equipment that you need to uh, wear, uh, you know, a category one, two, three, or four, whatever it may be, based upon the energy level. Now, note, let, let's review the note too. Uh, has an also there. See 240.80 through 240.85 when you're pulling maintenance or changing out breakers or getting the rules and regulations pertaining to circuit breakers. As well as 404.8A through C and 408.36 in the 2020 NEC and then review chapter 17 of 70B 110.7 of 70E, and you pretty well got a handle uh, on uh, just exactly uh, the requirements when you're dealing with these circuit breakers. But uh, note three just says the panel cover has been removed. And of course, you're seeing all the 
inside connections, the routing of the conductors, uh, and so forth. But uh, the main thing we should be able, when we remove that cover, we should be able to see that breaker is either in the on-off position. So if it's turned inward, on. If it's turned toward the back of the breaker, that's usually the off position. And you can find that information starting with 240.80 through 240.85, and you have the sections that regulate how these circuit breakers should be installed, operated, maintained, and serviced.